Hello everybody, thank you for coming to have a look at what I've been making. Um, I've been working with a kit from Paulette Creates Vintage and I will put a link to that below. And I've also um, been working with Mrs Cog's three cat kits, that's Beautiful Cats, Fab Cat Illustrated and Black Cat and I will link all the kits that I've used below. Um, I've had a bit of a session on cat journals mainly because I've had a some fabrics that I wanted to use that was cat related and a couple of books as well so I've ended up with four cat journals so I'm all catted out now so I, <laughs> I will show you the first two so sorry the first two I'm going to show you is a smaller um, journal called the great cat and then um, my tiger fabric journal so we'll start with the tiger one it's just close together with some some ribbon um, the tiger one measures seven and a quarter tall, five and a half wide, um, and it has a two inch spine. And there are some vintage buttons there on the, on the edge. Um, two signatures, hardcover, and the fabric on this is by Tula Pink, and it's um, a tiger. See that? Okay. This one has two signatures in it, and that's around 104 pages front and back. So on the inside, as I say, the kits from TLC Creates with from Paulette um, and also Mrs. Cog's three capped kits, cat kits. Some book pages in here as well. Tuck spot there, lovely image there from Mrs. Cog. And there's a little, that was actually one of the book pages that I downsized and I've just put a cat on there. This page pulls out both directions so there's plenty plenty of space in here to journal I think this is one of um, Paulette's basic um, pages basic kit pages and that says when all else fails hug the cat so the kit from Paulette the cat kit from Paulette and the Mrs Cog's cat kits went together so nicely And as I say, I've done a total of four cat journals, so if you don't like cats, these won't be for you. It's a page there from a Tom Kitten storybook. I think that's the story that um, Samuel Whiskers puts him in a pie and tries to bake him. Lovely image there of a kitten from Mrs Cog. In the centre there, some little tags there. The washi tape there has some little paw prints on it. There's a larger journaling card there. This has the black cat. And that says, Wisdom from the cat when all else fails, do nothing. And that flips down. This um, is it a library pocket, library card pocket? That's actually cat fabric and that actually covers one of the other journals that I've made. Oops. And I think I'm showing that next. Yep. There's an envelope there with a cat on the back. And that is a tuck spot as well if you wanted to use it. I didn't stick it down. Corner flap here that has three three tuck places in it. And a pocket there. Cats are like potato chips, you can't have just one. Another tuck spot there. These book pages were about how to look after a cat and if you're getting a kitten Tuck spot there. And again another, not glued in, but pegged in. And that says Fab Cat. And as my mum would say, that that cat looks as if it's got the cream. There's a little envelope there. I just stuck a stamp on that. Another page from the Tom Kitten story. It's on the back as well. I didn't 
I didn't back it because I thought it was nice to see the pictures on both sides. This I printed twice because I like the spread that it gives of the cat looking at the mouse. It's lovely lilac -y purple colour. A flip there with a couple of pieces of fabric on. That could well be tigers on there but I, it's cat enough for me. In the centre of that signature again. another envelope there. I think that cat's having a conversation with the mouse. Don't eat me. And cat there on that card. Another of the service checks and that says home is where your cat is and some ribbon on there. And that's the back again because I copied that, used, printed that one out twice. You get that image twice but you can write on those as well. Again, one of the pull-out pages. A card there. And another of the three tuck spots there. And another of the little pockets that comes down. So room to journal. Another card there. And a long ticket there. And another of the images from the Tom Kitten story there. An image from Mrs Cog. And then the back. That reminded me of a cat's tail. That's why I chose that card to, to back that one. So that's my tiger cat book. And then the other one that I'm going to show on this one is um, The Great Cats. So this is um, was a poetry book. And I've used some of the poems on the inside as well. So this one, it's about four inches wide, six and a half tall, and the spine's about one and a quarter inches. So I did a hidden spine in this one because I wanted to keep the book intact. Two signatures again, um, around 112 pages. And this one's done in the style of Mrs. Cobb. So again, it's used some of the papers from Paulette and the three kits from Mrs Cog, so that's the Fab Cat Illustrated, Black Cat and Beautiful Cats. So some cat fabric there, little pocket there. Tuck spot there, one of the poems. This is some paper that I just had. Flap there. Some cat quotes on there. The smallest feline is a masterpiece, Leonardo da Vinci. Little the service checks printed smaller with a little pocket on there, and I think this um, lace trim I think is from Roxy Creations. Little tuck spot there. That says beautiful cats, which again is one of the kits from Mrs. Cog. And the quote there: "What greater gift than the love of a cat?" Charles Dickens. Another poem. All the poem pages are cat poems. Centre of the signature there is a, a double tuck as well. Cats have it all. Admiration, endless sleep and attention when they want it. Some fabric on that guest check there. Lots of room in this one for writing. Beautiful cats. Lovely images, as I say, from Mrs. Cobb. The papers that I had. Three little kittens that lost their mittens. And second signature, again from the kit pages from um, Paulette Creates Vintage, TLC Creates Vintage, sorry, that says the black cat on there. 
Alice Through the Looking Glass pen of the poems about the cats. Flip up. Cats choose us, we don't own them. And again, a little pocket there that's just clipped in. That says, I have felt cats rubbing their faces against mine and touching my cheek with claws, carefully sheathed. These things to me are expressions of love. And that's a quote from James Herriot. of little cards in there. The Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland and again the centre of that one has the double tuck again. And again some of the fabric there on that guest check. That's as I love cats because I enjoy my home and little by little they become its visible soul. It says Fab Cat on there, that's just a decoration. It says time spent with cats is never wasted. And there's the last page and again the cat fabric peeking there. So that's two of my, bit of fluff there, two of my cat journals um, and I have got another two that I will do some videos of. One I'll do now and then the other one I've not quite finished. So I hope you like them. These are the two of my cat journals using TLC Creates Vintage and Mrs Cogs and I do hope you like them. Thank you very much.